I read this book a few years ago uh, called Physics of the Future um, by Dr. Michio Kaku. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah. And there was this, I don't remember why he brought it up, but this very thing that you're saying, there's a reason why, like, you know, during World War II, and I, don't, I am not a history buff, not even close, okay? So I'm not going to even try to sound like one. But I will say, um, one thing that stuck out to me that he said was, you know, back then, a Japanese person might as well have been an alien, even more so than yes. today, right? Yes. Because, I mean, you were only looking at propaganda films. Like, you didn't really, if you saw one, like, around you, I mean, it was just like, that's the enemy. But what you're talking about is yeah. essentially why, you know, you see less and less of that is, you know, just connection. It's easier. I mean, more of us have, have been over there. Like, uh, we have people, like, on Reddit that, like, are on the same threads. You know what I'm saying? Like, we game with people from, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, Even that. Yeah, it's just, I mean, of, of, of all, I mean, to where color, like, you know, in, in race and background, like, literally doesn't matter. Um, and back to what you were saying about being fed information, I would agree, but I would also counter that and say, I think, I think most people, people do that you know or most countries do that and to a certain degree you think oh yeah i mean like but isn't america like always the apple of their eye not always man not I mean, always but i would say more not frequent, lately <laughs> more frequently yeah well not lately i mean i'll just say this like um because i've talked to friends from you know that are visiting from overseas or whatever and you know i've i've, I've heard them say like a lot of a lot of what they think, they think Americans are, I mean, and they're kind of right about a lot of them. I think the Americans are really loud oh, yeah, and yeah. really like, you know, um, we don't value education. Again, also something that's kind of true. Um, but it's not just that. You know what I'm saying? Like there's so much more to America than that. And I think they know that. But I also think I try to, I try. I, I don't know. It's not hard to really find correct information. You just have to be diligent about it. You know, if, yeah. you, if you go by the first thing you see, mm-hmm. then you didn't, you didn't really care to know the truth about this. You know, there's always like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and I always do that. Whenever I see like a headline, I'm just like, okay, well, let's see what this really means. Or you know, or you gotta you gotta see the headline and be like, what? And then read it and see exactly what they say. Can right. I tell you a good example oh, of this yeah. today? Do you know what I'm gonna say? No, but I see this all the time. What you're what we're talking about? <laughs> this is about Amy Barrett, the uh, Supreme Court nominee, and I saw a headline this morning, and it said Amy Barrett says it's okay to use the n using the n word in the workplace is okay or it's not hostile or she doesn't they're saying she doesn't think it's bad to say the n word i was like no way exactly dude and i I went because i actually watched a lot of her hearing like i watched the actual hearing and i listened to what she was saying she's a sweet little girl she's you know, she graduated in the top of her class yeah. for law. Like, she's smart. And I'm oh, yeah. not, look, I am not trying to pick sides. I'm just trying to see what somebody is saying and I watch them in person, hear exactly what they say. So I went to this article today. I was like, oh. she has like four black kids, by the way. <laughs> That's crazy. And, interesting. you know, yeah, you can look at that multiple ways. Of course, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the more heartfelt way and be like, that's not like a play or anything. Like she actually right. probably like, I don't know the background story, but probably adopted. Yeah, she didn't something. she didn't adopt four black kids because she hates black people or because she wants to like exploit or, them. Or, yeah, or even maybe wants that image. Like she probably just right. ha- is like a good person who wants to right. do that. Um, and say t- take some kids off the street, whether they're white or black. It's that's just a good thing to do, and that's also a really tough. Uh, dilemma that i have right now it's like damn there's so many kids that need to be adopted it's like having a kid is yeah. not cool and some i'm not cool mm. the, not cool is the worst way i could have put I know what that. you mean though uh whatever let me continue with this yeah. anyway i read this story and i listened to exactly what she said the the senators asking her the questions brought up a case from 2019 that she presided over and I think I need we need more detail on it because I read it kind of quickly, but this is the gist of it. I don't think it's going to be off. So, uh, somebody went to court because somebody had said the N-word in the workplace. I don't know if it was to him or if he just heard it. That's a big part of this. Right, or just said it, like quoting something. Or, or sa- Yeah, or quote or song, whatever. The N-word was mentioned in the workplace. Based on my reading and based on my memory, I don't think it was said directly at him. 
But anyway, basically all she ruled was we didn't have enough evidence to um, say for sure that when this word was used, it made the workplace a hostile and unsuitable environment. Yeah, that's and fair. that's you know it's yeah. tough, right? <laughs> it's tough because you want to you want to protect those things, but at the same time, she's being like as technical as possible, which sometimes can be very annoying. But I would hope that I would also be as technical as possible always. As a judge, as a fucking judge, and as a judge, yeah. <laughs> Come on, like that's what you want, like you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what she did in the entire hearing too. She was as technical as you possible. You don't want an emotional person judging a case. Right. That's not going to work. Right. And you know another interesting thing is they're getting on her for being very Catholic. So fucking. And guess what? I listened to the vice president debate. Kamala Harris is touting Joe Biden as the second Catholic president, and yeah. you know, in a good way. And I really don't care. We're gonna get a Christian president regardless. I don't They're care. They're never not gonna be Christian. So why uh, it'll happen? It's just we're just a long ways away from it. We're a long way away from it. A long ways. We I mean, be, we, we that's like a major tenet. A when you when years you say though, when you say that there's been this, I've noticed it. Okay, uh, and you can just you can just I mean, I'm not gonna say read history books, but just if you know just about the last few decades, there's just been this like pendulum, right? You know where. I don't know if y'all noticed, but like the past like 10 years, people like have been really spiritual, really more into like church Agreed. and religion. Oh. Like, I mean, well, here's the thing. What I'm saying is people like are more open to that, right? Than they were when I was like a lot younger. I remember there were a lot more like, I are just felt- an ambiguous spirituality. Yeah, but I don't even mean that. Like, okay. I just mean, I mean, straight up just people like- posting Bible verses that aren't necessarily oh, Christian, but it's saying. just like, you know what I mean? Well, like, well, actually, you know, I've done that too. Recently, yeah, I posted a But it's just a part of the zeitgeist verse. right now. I think yeah. I think that was not the case, like, you know, a few years ago. I definitely, and just even in some of the podcasts I was listening to, I felt like you heard way more, like, I mean, I'm not really a Christian or a religious person at all. Like, I don't even believe it. I, you would hear that, you would hear that spouted a lot more. And I don't know what really shifted, but I do know that it's a pendulum because we were also there, if you t- ask my mom, like, like the late seventies was big on that too. And like, mm-hmm. you know, the eighties, like, uh, and also there was a period of time where people were wearing, what would Jesus do bracelets? I mean, it just oh, go, yeah. remember that? It just goes back and forth. And I think the totally. pendulum, it, I think the pendulum continues to move, but it's on this train, right? That's still just moving. We can't help but move forward. And you know it because like our beliefs are not as whack as they used to be overall. Like most people like that are, that and I know. In a hundred years, we're gonna say that same thing. Maybe. I mean, I don't Here's know. Here's the thing: man. it's a maybe, actually, because it's like it might be possible to know more and do better and to be less wrong in hindsight. Does that make sense? Yeah. Jesus is the way, my brother. Jesus. Oh, I thought you were saying Jesus. I Jesus. do love a Jesus chord. Love a Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> but God's Jesus. favorite chord. Jesus. 